Welcome to our third video dealing with percents and algebra. So here we're going to look at a problem that takes a sale price and asks you and will ask you to evaluate that sale because we want you to look at what the original cost of the item was. So here our focus is to go from the sale price to the original price. And we're going to use algebra in this process to understand just how good the sale really is. So I'm going to use an example that, that I often think about, and that's the avocado. Now, sometimes I notice that the avocados, they come in these bags, and, and there, might, there might be some kind of a sale. So for example, you might get a bag of, of four avocados, right? And maybe you get them on sale. Now, in New York, it's a, a bag of four avocados on sale, a, like an organic bag, for example, might be $5. This is the sale price. So today, the bag of four avocados, it's on sale. We have a sale price of $5 for those four avocados. And this is a big sale, right? They're going to advertise it. And maybe these are, these are organic avocados. And they tell you that this is a sale because they want you to know it. And they want you to buy it. And they're going to tell you that the sale price is it's 25% off. Original cost. So immediately, you might start asking some questions. Number one, we want to know what is the original cost of this bag of avocados. And then, of course, you know, usually next to the bags will have these loose avocados. So you, you also might want to ask is, what is the cost per avocado? So how do we go about doing this? Well, let's say uh, we start here, which is that we know we're, we're getting 25% off of the original cost. So that means we started at some cost. There's a cost of the bag of avocados, X. So X, we're going to say that's the, that's the cost of the avocados, the original cost. We're saying if you take that amount and then subtract 25% percent of that amount that gives you this price of five dollars so how do we deal with this and that's what we're talking about in other videos well you want to combine like terms this is 1x because it's a hundred percent the original cost minus 25 percent that gives you as you might expect 75 percent of the original cost is five dollars so what was the original cost well, to solve for x, we divide both sides by 0.75. Here, 0.75 divided by 0.75 cancels out. Now we just have x equals this. And this is actually kind of nice because 5 divided by 0.75 is like 5 divided by 3 fourths. And of course, when we divide by a fraction, what do we do? We multiply by the reciprocal. So here we have 5 times 4 thirds. 5 times 4 is 20, over 3, what is that? Well, 3 goes into 20 six times, and what's left over? Well, 2 thirds. Or you might say the cost of, of that bag of avocados is about 6, and we'll leave it at this for now, 2 thirds. And that means that was our original cost. So is this a good deal? Well, I mean, it's not bad, right? I mean, you're saving... Uh, almost two dollars so it's it's a pretty good deal and in fact now I want to find of course what's the cost per avocado so is it worth it to buy the loose avocados well of course it depends on the price but let's find out really what we're paying for per avocado in this bag so how many avocados are we getting four avocados so we want to take six and two thirds and divide this out by four avocados so how do I do this? Well, I'm going to turn this number into a proper fraction. 6 times 3 right, is 18, plus 2 is 20. We go back to our original 20 over 3. Divided by 4. Well, we can 
Again, multiply by the reciprocal. So times 1 fourth, and I'm sure you recognize that, dividing by 4, multiplying by a fourth, the same thing. 20 times 1 is 20. 3 times 4 is 12. And this means the price of one avocado is 1. Well, because 12 goes into 20 once, and there's 8 twelfths left over. We can reduce 8 twelfths, of course. 2 goes into 8 4 times, and into uh, 12 6 times. So we have 4 6 or 2 thirds. So 1.666, right? So a dollar and 66 cents, about, or probably $1.67 uh, per avocado. So, I mean, that's the cost per avocado. Is that a good deal? Well, I mean, it depends on the cost of the avocados in the loose bin, like I said, but if those avocados in the loose bin are $1.50, right, that's definitely a better deal. And, and in this problem, of course, in terms of algebra, really the heart of the problem is right here. Whether, you know, the price has gone up by some amount or gone down, you're looking at the growth or loss of, a, of an original amount. And the, and the idea is you can set this up in an equation and combine the original percent and subtract the savings of an unknown amount and solve for it as long as you know the final cost. Anyway, I hope this helped and maybe now you're getting hungry and we'll have some guacamole. Thanks.